Hello everyone, this is Terry Stallkop. I just sent this email to you. It's a thank you from me to you for saying I really appreciate the fact that you've been on my mailing list, you're opening my emails, and you're even buying a few things from my links. And I just wanted to say thank you. So I've sent the Attraction Marketers Manifesto as a free gift from me to you. In this email, I have asked several of you that have opened my email to give me some suggestions or reply with questions, and you have. So let me answer one of the questions that you asked me, to, uh, and that is, how do I get this particular signature of mine into these emails that you have probably noticed I call fancy emails? <laughs> I just, I love doing fancy emails now. This is really actually just an image. What I've done is I did several signatures of my own and of my husband's so that I can add these photographs or images into emails. So this just happens to be a piece of typing paper that I've written my signature on and then I put it into a regular printer, scanner, copier machine that I have on my desktop. And the way I get it into an email like this, I'll show you now. At the bottom of my email, you can see that there's a place that you can just go visit eye contact. So we'll do that now. We're going to visit eye contact. This is where I do all of my fancy emails. This is where all of my emails come from. When you get an email from from me. It's either an autoresponder or it's an email that I'm sending to my list. You're on my list, so at the bottom of my email you'll see that it's from eye contact. Now, in eye contact, whenever you create a message of any kind, really, it doesn't matter whether I'm doing a fancy email or not, I can add a picture into an email. So let's just go into an email editor and let's say I'm going to send you an email but really all I'm going to do is go into the pictures that I've stored inside eye contact and here's the picture of my signature that I scanned but let's say that maybe that's not all I want to do maybe I'd like to load another picture it's just exactly like any other Let's say I want to change that image, and so I'm going to choose an, a different image that I don't have loaded in here, so I can go into Browse like you do, and I can choose a different image and put that image into the email by uploading it into iContact, and sometimes the image will be too big, and they'll tell me your image has been added to your image library. Well, that's great. It was not too big, and there it is. But sometimes it's too big, and, and if that's the case, then I'll do another video to show you how I resize it. But in this case, it was fine. So I just click on that, and instead of my signature now, inside the email I'm sending is now the new image. Or I can also write a little bit of text and then say, like I did earlier. Thanks for opening my email. And put another image in there, which this time it'll be my signature. It's already in, stored and there you have it. So I hope this helps. I'll see you next time. This is Terry Stalkop, your marketing super guide.